everyone. Today I am at a little fossil king spot, maybe 10 k's, 10, 15 k's west of Norseman in Western Australia. Norseman is just at the western end of the, the Nullarbor, the Nullarbor Plain, the highway. Uh, and this is a little fossil king spot where you can fossick for all kinds of cool stuff. I've been here a few times. First time we came here a couple of years ago was interesting. It was just after there'd been a bushfire. So all this green that you can see around, there was no green. It was kind of, it was interesting. There was just the black charred earth and the trees. There was no insects, no birds, no animals, no nothing. So coming back a couple of years later and seeing the green, it's pretty cool. You all know the Australian bush loves a good bushfire to germinate and regenerate. So, anyways, we're out here, a little bit of fossicking. This is a cool spot because the Norseman Council actually come along and, you know, dig some trenches and pull out the material in piles so you can fossick just on the surface without too much digging, which is a good thing because, as like today, hard nights about 30 something degrees, it's Celsius, it's probably not the ideal um, fossicking temperature, but. Um, normally I'd have long sleeves on as well but I've got like you know 15 coats of sunscreen on and about 20 coats of dust so I'm pretty well protected but what we're fostering for today is a bunch of different stuff I'm still learning about what's what here so forgive me if I'm wrong if anyone wants to comment let me know what I'm really looking at I would very much appreciate it but the agates that we're looking for are, are these see how they're kind of you can sort of see through them they're not fully transparent but <coughs> excuse me they are a little bit transparent so they're kind of cool and they polish up really nice you can tumble them you can kind of see the sun through that and you can sometimes get them with like really cool patterns in but also there's a lot of this kind of I would probably call this stuff, oh, something's biting me. Um, I'd probably call this stuff common opal. Because it looks very much like common opal. Some of this green stuff, I don't know, it might be chrysophrase. Someone help me out if I'm wrong. But there's all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just sitting on the surface. Pristine ones like that. So, oh, that's kind of a... Oh, you can't see. There's jasper here as well, different kinds of jasper, which is kind of a waxy kind of stuff. So that's kind of a nice big bit there. Well, I'll just give it a bush wash. I don't know if it's ideal for everyone to be licking rocks, but I'm a rock licker. From so that's <laughs> rock licker from way back. So that's what we're doing today. Just in this pile of dirt here. Out in the middle of nowhere. But I highly recommend. There's lots of cool stuff that you can find. All kinds of interesting rocks here on the ground. And you can just sort of sift through. I've just been sort of giving them a bit of a kick. And... See, I'd sort of, I don't know. Could be Jasper. Kind of is. I really need someone to tell me. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. So I've just had a bit of a around get a bit of kick <coughs> trying to swallow any flies uh, and of course you know if you're coming out in this kind of weather or any time out here make sure you've got some good decent shoes because this is very snaky weather um, yeah thankfully we haven't run into any face to face today but they're out there so you just got to be aware of that and cover up and yeah, deal with the flies. But it's good for good, nice and easy to get to. You can find out the information from the Norseman Council. Or if you were to do a Google search for Agate Fossicking Norseman, you'll come up with a bunch of different links to it. So if you're ever in the area or you're on your way out to the Nullarbor, come and pick some holes and get yourself some cool rocks. Stay safe everyone. Bye.